Hey children, welcome to our online class uh, new session. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the second chapter in all what we have learned during all these sessions about the second chapter about the whole numbers that is what is we are going to see today's class revise our portions so this week uh, today's class i am including some homeworks to some assignment also that also you have to do so uh, children uh, wish you a very a bright happy onam festival thank you dear children today let us see a, an overview of the chapter 2 so far we completed the second chapter and in the second chapter we were discussing about uh, the numbers whole numbers and its properties also we have seen we have learned how can we simplify a numerical expression an arithmetic expression which contains addition subtraction multiplication division and also some brackets how can we simplify such expressions to get an answer get the value and we studied the order of operations and uh, the board mass rule so in that board mass rule i told you in the last class b for bracket o for of operation of operation actually means multiplication rule then d for division m for multiplication a for addition s for subtraction this is what we already learned but i know many of you are having some doubt because for the first time you are dealing with such type of problems maybe you are confused with the, the brackets the order of bracket there are many brackets also we so the first type of bracket vingulum and line bracket and you should bracket parenthesis and then a uh, curly bracket or braces and last one square brackets or box brackets so whenever we are simplifying these brackets or solving the values inside the numbers inside a bracket which order we have to follow actually we are following the order from inside to out which bracket is in the inside in the most bracket that we have to solve first and from in inside inner side to outside in out that is the order and also uh, mostly the innermost bracket will be a vingulum a line bracket and then parenthesis then curly bracket and then square bracket that is the order we have to solve and Uh, the order of arithmetic operations also we discussed addition and multiplication and division we have to do first left to right and subtraction and addition from left to right whichever comes first that is what is uh, during all this class uh, last session we discussed and today i think we can have a revision just uh, have an overview of the entire chapter and i will solve some examples on the board and there will not be any other notes because the notes already given for the chapter 2 so, subtract divide and multiply some numbers with the help of number line so one example for each once again i will show you so to add a number with the help of number line on on the number line what we have to do so addition one example uh, 4 plus 5 4 plus 5 
how can we add with the help of a number line you have to draw a number line starting from zero whole number starts from zero and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten etc this is a number line and it is going on like this and here we have to add 4 and 5 to add 4 plus 5 start from 4 to add means move towards right on the number line so how many places we have to move here 5 places so from 4 5 places means 1 2 3 4 5 where we reach that is the answer then 9 is the answer 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 understood same way if you want to subtract a number using number line what we have to do another example we can take uh, 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 how can we subtract 3 from 7 with the help of number line draw a number line 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 etc so to subtract first we do start from 7 to subtract move towards left on the number line so how many places 3 places 1 2 3 we will get 4 so 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 this is the way we are subtracting a number using number line and multiplication for example if this is example 1 2 and 3 for multiplication here subtraction here so now addition and subtraction we finished now multiplication uh, 4 multiplied by 2 4 multiplied by 2 4 twos 4 times 2 actually multiplication means a repeated addition this we can do in this way 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 etc is going on so 4 into 2 means add 2 4 times 2 that means 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 4 into 2 means 4 times 2 we have to add that means take a group of 2 2 means this 1 1 2 2 units you have to take as a group and from 0 make 4 jumps 4 jumps towards right with 2 that means first jump two places then second jump again two places third jump again with the two places and fourth jump again with the two places where we reach four eight so four into two is equal to eight we got now division let us see how can we divide a number with the help of number line here 8 divided by 2 8 divided by 2 same number line we can make 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 etc 8 divided by 2 from 8 actually division means repeated subtraction from 8 how many times we can subtract 2 that is what is the question or in 8 how many 2's are there how many 2's makes 8 that is the question so from 8 same way what we did in uh, multiplication multiplication is repeated addition addition means towards right multiplication means towards right therefore 
but subtraction can be so subtraction towards left so division also should be towards left so from 8 divided by 2 so 8 take 2 at a time move back move towards left 1 this 2 then again 2 places again 2 places again 2 places until we reach 0 now count how many jumps we made 1 2 3 4 4 times a group of 2 subtracted to reach 0 therefore 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 this is the way we are dividing numbers using number line this we studied just to revise it and later after all this addition subtraction basic operations we learned the properties of the properties of whole numbers we saw whole numbers are closed with respect to addition <coughs> closed with respect to addition closed with respect to multiplication but not closed with respect to subtraction and division why what is meant by closed closed closure property means whenever we take two whole numbers any two whole numbers for example 1 and 2 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 that means but and 3 is also a whole number so if you add any two whole number the answer always a whole number that property is called a closure property of addition but subtraction it is not possible when you are subtracting 4 minus 3 you will get 1 it is a whole number but always it is not 3 minus 4 if you take what will happen from a small number are you able to subtract a big number in whole numbers it is not possible isn't it so the answer of 3 minus 4 is not there in whole number so all cases the whole subtraction is not closed in the set of whole numbers we study and commutative property we study commutative means the order when you are adding two whole numbers either way you can add 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 if you change the order no problem when you are adding so it is commutative but when you are subtracting if you change the order the answer will be different but and when you are multiplying 1 into 2 is equal to 2 into 1 order change no problem so addition and multiplication commutative property is satisfied but subtraction it is not satisfied and for division it is not satisfied because 1 divided by 2 is not equal to 2 divided by 1 1 divided by 2 means it is half 2 divided by 1 means it is 2 only half is not equal to 2 so division and subtraction not commutative that also we studied and grouping property associative property we studied that is if you take three whole numbers you can group them in any way when you are adding them in any order that doesn't matter 1 plus 2 plus 3 we studied the use of bracket is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 when our bracket is there inside the bracket what is that we have to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 5 plus 1 6 1 plus 2 3 plus 3 6 so any order you a, any two number you can add first or second order doesn't matter in this also you can group so addition in case of multiplication also 1 into 2 into 3 is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 so associative property satisfied with respect to addition and multiplication but subtraction and division it is not satisfied why because when you change the order of subtraction uh, elements in subtraction and division the answer will be different understood so that is the associative property and then we studied 
the properties of zero and zero and what what is the property of zero zero is additive identity because whenever we are adding zero with any whole number the answer remains same 1 plus 2 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 isn't it and when you multiply zero with any number that number the answer product will be zero that also you know that is the property of zero and zero is also called additive identity because when you add zero to any number the identity of that number will not change that number remains the same and uh, 1 is multiplicative identity 2 into 1 is equal to 2 when you multiply 1 with any number the identity of that number will not change it remains the same so 1 is the multiplicative identity and 0 is the additive identity that property also we studied and we cannot divide any number by 0 because 2 divided by 0 is not defined any number you cannot divide by 0 the answer is not defined it is considered as infinity and what when you divide 0 by any number the answer always 0 that is the properties we studied then we studied another property distributive property of multiplication over addition and multiplication over subtraction that is when you are uh, multiply 2 into 3 plus 4 instead of this we can write 2 into 3 2 into 4 multiply 2 with 3 2 distributed to 3 and 4 so 2 into 3 plus 2 into 2 into 4 this property is called a distributive property of multiplication over addition if it is subtract minus 2 into 3 minus 4 then 2 into 3 here instead of plus it will be minus that is what is distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction now let us see some example so uh, using number line how can we add that we discuss and during the pre midterm exam there was some question from actually it, it was from a textbook exercise also uh, some uh, the question uh, was like this arrange uh, suitable order and find the value we can rearrange the number just have a look at the numbers and see here 192 along with the 192 if which which number is easy to add with this actually 308 why because we know that 2 and 8 if you add you will get 10 carry over 1 so that last digit will become 0 and then 9 that carry over 1 when you add to 9 there also 10 so it is easy when there is an uh, sum the digits zeros comes it is easy to add so 2 and 8 that is easy so 308 and 192 Add addition is easy we can do some mental math that is easy mathematics so arrange we arrange the order with the help of properties 192 plus 308 associative property I told when you are adding you can add them in any order you can add any two number first if you add this two and then here 145 and 155 adding 5 and 5 is easy so we can add 145 plus 145 now add this two easy and this two easily 192 plus 308 is equal to 500 when you are if you take this 8 to this, it will become 200. 192 plus 8, 200. 200 and you take 8 from this to here, here remains 300. So 200 plus 300, 
500 is similarly we can do and 45 and 55 45 plus 55 100 100 plus 100 200 plus 100 300 so 145 155 you will get 300 so now and adding 500 300 it is easy 5 plus 3 800 this is the way we have to rearrange sometimes for multiplication also such type of questions may come is it clear okay now let us see a multiplication example 1750 1750 into 40 into 8 40 8 8 into 40 into 8 into 50 into 50 in this case multiplying which two numbers is easy we know that multiplying 40 into 50 is very easy and multiply 1750 into 8 also easy otherwise if you are direct multiplying if you are first you have to multiply this two then that product into this that product into this in that way we have to multiply to avoid such a type of confusion we can have a rearrangement so this can be rearranged 1750 8 1750 into 8 40 into 50 multiply this to multiply this to that is easy multiply this to is easy because we can write this zero 800 850 40 850 40 remainder 4 8 7 56 8 7 56 60 then 6 here 818 plus 6 40 14000 we got into now 40 into 50 4 into 5 20 then this zero and this zero 2000 14000 into 2000 now 14 into 2 14 into 2, 28. Then this three zeros, one, two, three. This three zeros, one, two, three. This is the way we can multiply by rearranging. So whenever you get the question, just have a clear look at the numbers and think which numbers are you see to multiply to avoid a long multiplication. And complex multiplication which two numbers we have to multiply first just to think and do and there was some other question type of question using properties distributive property and all now this is a big multiplication question so if you are multiplying 560 by 999 Yeah, actually you have you have to multiply 999 a three digit number with a three digit number okay at least you have to multiply a three digit number by 56 two digit number and add one zero but that will take so much so many steps so to avoid that to avoid such a type of actual multiplications we can use we can use some tricks we studied distributive property so here when you look at this number 999 we can change this in another way 999 means 1000 minus 1 so we can rewrite this as 560 into 1000 minus 1 multi why we are rewriting like this because multiplication with a thousand hundred tens and all is easy and multiplication with one also is easy so now here 
500 use distributive property 560 into 1000 into 1000 560 into 1000 then minus 560 into 1 560 into 1 multiplication with the 1000 is easy so 5, 6, 0 and this 3 zeros 5 lakh 60,000 now minus 560 now only a subtraction is remaining then you can do here 5 lakh 60,000 minus 560 how can you subtract you know here it will be 10 9 9 and this also will be 9 this will be 5 isn't it so 10 minus 0 ok here no needs because 0 minus 0 0 this will be 10 10 minus 6 4 9 minus 5 4 then 9 5 5 so 5 lakh 59,440 that is the answer 5 lakh 59,440 is the answer using the distributive property we simply in this case a three digit number into a three digit number to simplify this we can change this so 355 into 100 plus 2 100 plus 2 so that will be so distribute this 355 into 100 plus 355 into 2 distribute this to here and this here so 355 355 0 0 multiply this then plus 352 355 into 2 is equal to 710 5 to sub 10 0 then 1 5 to sub 10 plus 1 1 11 then 1 2 3 sub 6 plus 1 7 710 now add 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 0 1 then 7 plus 5 12 then 1 6 3 so 3 6 2 1 0 so this is the reverse distributive property of multiplication over addition in that also reverse order we can use distributive property some questions maybe like this uh, 438 into 94 uh, into 94 plus 438 into 6 suppose a question is like this in this case to avoid this direct multiplication direct big multiplication to avoid that here we you know 438 is distributed common that you can take common 438 into bracket here 94 plus here what is remaining 6 now simplify this 438 into 94 plus 6 100 that is 438 100 understood so whenever such questions are there just to go through it carefully and think which property we can do in which way it is easy to do to make the calculation simple that is what is the use of properties and later we have discussed uh, 4 plus 4 plus 2 minus curly bracket 
1 into 2 plus parenthesis 2 into 3 minus 2 big bula bracket close all the bracket closed if this is the question how can we solve here addition is there subtraction is there multiplication is there and many brackets are there in this case what we have to do first look at the innermost bracket line bracket bingula what is under this line bracket to find out the answer of that first so next step in what step one calculation we will do in that way we can simplify for remaining all we can keep same 4 plus 2 minus curly bracket is not changing 1 into 2 plus this bracket still there 2 into remove this bracket that is do what is under this 3 minus 2 it will be 1 then now next bracket 4 plus next bracket so I told from inside we have to simplify the bracket so first this bracket we solved then this parenthesis we have to solve then this bracket we have to solve then square bracket we have to solve so now 4 plus 2 minus this bracket still remain into 2 plus what is inside this parenthesis now 2 into 1 2 into 1 2 so the 2 only remains there now now look how many brackets remaining this bracket and the square bracket first we have to simplify this curly bracket so 4 plus 4 plus 2 minus inside the bracket just a same thing 1 into 2 1 into 2 you have to do first because from the left to right multiplication and division you have to do first 1 into 2 is 2 then 2 plus 2 4 so inside the bracket the value total value is equal to 4 only. 1 into 2 2 then that 2 plus 2 4 so remove this bracket and write 4 here now next step 4 plus simplify inside this bracket what is inside this from addition subtraction is there from left to right what is first addition is there so 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 then from that 6 minus 4 6 minus 4 2 so the answer of this bracket is 2 now so 4 plus 2 so the final answer 6 this is the way we are doing uh, arithmetic expression brackets and all so which we did first first vinculum we solved then bracket parenthesis we solved then curly bracket we solved then finally the square bracket we solved and the order is always from left to right which operation comes first that you do first if multiplication and division is there that you do first okay so that's all we have studied in second chapter test your understanding page number 42 in that uh, the questions 6 question number 6 7 and 8 6 7 and 8 page number 42 test your understanding question number 672 this you have to do as an assignment during this autumn holidays during this autumn holidays next week you are having autumn holiday and you present it as an assignment 
ना टेक ना ना फोर शीट टेक ए फोर शीट्स एंड डू नीटली यू कैन मेक सम बॉर्डर ए फ्रंट कवरिंग पेज यू हैव टू मेक दैट योर नेम योर एड्रेस योर योर क्लास एंड सब्जेक्ट नेम देन नेक्स्ट पेज यू हैव टू डू all these questions and submit it as an assignment you keep it at your home and the photo you have to send to my mark uh, my whatsapp number uh, the question i will explain the question now listen carefully the sixth question evaluate using board maps we saw so many examples already how to use board maps or using board maps or there are uh five questions but a b c d e five questions that five questions you have to solve using board maths rule and seventh one evaluate the following expression then also board maths rule uh in that uh six questions are there a b c d e f at least uh, no all the six questions you have to do simple questions only brackets so all the six question you have to do and eighth question you may be having some doubt so using distributive property of multiplication to solve this questions so uh, if you have any doubt you just revise this class video and try to do a pencil cost for rupees 10 and an eraser cost for rupees 5 find the cost of 12 pencil and 12 erasers so cost of cost of pencil rupees 10 pencil pencil and eraser cost of 1 uh, eraser is rupees 5 find the cost of 12 pencil and 12 eraser 12 each 12 pencil and 12 eraser so what is common 12 so 12 into the cost will be using the distributive property 12 into 10 plus 5 distributive property we used for the actually it is 12 pencil means 12 into 10 then plus 12 eraser means 12 into 5 isn't it so then it's a take the distributed one 12 into 10 plus 5 so i'm not doing or you got the idea so just to try if you are having any doubt call me and second question in that mid day meal is made for 240 students of a school each day find the total number of meals made in 90 days so one day 240 no students are there for 240 students they are making meal mid day meal for one day so for 90 days how much 240 into 90 that is simple answer but here you have to use distributive property in which way 90 you can write as 100 minus 10 that is the proof using this proof we try to do 90 is 100 minus 10 So page number forty-two, question number six, seven, eight. Uh, you have to submit as an assignment. Okay, children. Uh, wish you all a very good holidays ahead in advance. I am wishing you a very happy Ramadan and be safe at home. Be always at home. Uh, you can celebrate Ramadan and all its. Uh, you can enjoy all uh, its. Uh, celebrations but keep yourself safe thank you have a good week